On our form, we have a Boolean property where we store information about whether an employee is new, which is the is new property. To input true, false values, we use a so-called checkbox, which in Blazor is the input checkbox component. Here, the setup is a bit different because instead of form group, we use the form check class. First, we use the input checkbox control, not the label. So here, it's the other way around, input checkbox. We bind the value to employee that is new and add the class form check input instead of form control. Below, we have a label where we need to set the class form check label and the text is new employee. These classes are all from Bootstrap. The only thing that changes here is the name of the component, so we use input checkbox. Now, I will run the application and see how it looks. A checkbox has been added at the bottom, which we can check or uncheck. Now, let's move on to the next lesson, where I will show you how to use a select 